A very good day to you and welcome to Herman Manyora's YouTube channel. My name is Jadal Kabir. I'm excited for today's conversation. We're going to speak about President William Ruto's tour in Nyanza. It seems like the dynamics are shifting now that there is this broad-based government. I'm here with Prof. Manyora. He's going to talk to me a little bit about that. Prof, look, it's the situation is changing in this country. Look at the reception of Ruto there. Is this a reflection of 2027? Could it be? Yeah, in some way, yes. Hmm. Yeah. People, if things don't change, if Raila gets the AU seat, then the, the people of Luanyans are likely to look favorably uh, in William Ruto's way. The, the Luo people vote for someone who's not from the region? No, they voted for Kibaki, to a man. Uh, yeah, they voted for Jomo Kenyatta. Mm. So it's done with the first time. The Jomo Kenyatta, Luo's voted for him. They voted for Mike Kibaki, Kibaki mm. Tosha, yeah. So if Raila says Ruto Tosha, the situation yeah, they will this vote country, for him. They will vote for him. When, what does this actually mean? Does this mean that he will stand unopposed? If someone opposes him, he will Who, just win but, the election uh, for President Ke Ruto. Uh, Luo Nyanza is not equal to Kenya, and Kenya is not equal to Luo Nyanza. Luo Nyanza can vote all the votes for Ruto, and he still loses mm. because Kenya is still bigger than that. So if he has Luo Nyanza, he has Rift Valley. That is just a, a tiny. It's not even twenty percent of the vote. Maybe. Not even, you won't get more than 25% 20, of the votes. Yeah. I mean, I don't have the exact figures, but I'm going by the population of this country. Mm. Uh, Luo and the Kalenjin combined do not get to 25%, do they? Maybe around there. Yeah. Yeah. So for people thinking, are excited in Ruto's camp, no, thinking that nothing. this is actually it's a nothing. good... It's nothing, it's yeah. nothing. Because Wade again is losing Mount Kenya, because... Part of that game, the way I hear, you can see the optics. When they were in Western, when uh, they were now in Nyanza, and so you can see the optics. And people are now saying this government is being run by Raila, Ruto, and Mudawadi. Mm. So going by that, it's more likely that Mudawadi may be made the running mate. If that happens, then you lose Mount Kenya. Mm. If they abandon Gashagwa, they lose Mount Kenya. So you cannot... And I've sung this so much, I don't want to say it anymore. You cannot... Abandon Mount Kenya with all the millions of votes and then gamble with Western and Nyanza. Hmm. Because it's a gamble. If Raila says, turn right, the Luo will turn right. But that will not be applied to Western, to the Luya. Hmm. It will depend on other dynamics. Supposing somebody serious picks Natambea for running mate. Hmm. You, see, you see what I'm saying? Hmm. Supposing somebody here speaks Sifuna for running mate. Mm. I say, here we are. These are young people. We want to grow with them in this country. Mm. They represent Gen Z in my campaign. Mm. Somebody like Natembe is young. I saw him, my student, the other day. Mm. Sifuna is young. So I'm not saying who it is, but mm. where Mount Kenya goes. You know, in America they say, mm. where Ohio goes, mm. so goes the nation. Yeah. Sometimes it's very critical how Ohio votes. Yeah. Ohio. Is it Ohio or Ohio. Ohio? Whichever. So this is Mount Kenya for us. Yeah. So where Mount Kenya will go, mm. it will be critical. But when you look at previous elections. Mount Kenya, whatever Mount Kenya has. And I don't know why people forget this thing. Mm. Uh, when Mount Kenya was with Kibaki, he became president and things happened. When Mount Kenya was with Ruto and Huru. So I don't know where this big-headedness is coming from on the side of Ruto and his people. They think they can ignore Mount Kenya, ignore Gashagwa. Fine, good luck. I'm telling them good luck. But is it really ignoring or is this also the question of inclusivity? Because this is a message the president no, is no, speaking. No. The way it's being done, the way it's being done, it is, mm. it is to sideline Gashagwa. Oh, and Gashagwa is in Nyanza with him. Yeah, he's saying now we know to like Baba. Yes. Sis, to give a to Baba Mambo Nisawa. Yes. So how can you say they're sidelining <laughs> him and he's the one actually making this statement. And you know what? In politics, politics is a stupid game. Maybe when Gashago and Ruto are just playing games. Mm. It's possible. Who knows? But if it is real, because now even the talk about impeachment has resurfaced again. Mm. It has picked momentum. So if it is real that Ruto is fighting Gashago, let me warn him. I actually, just advise him. What you get for every one vote you get from the Western side of Kenya, mm. 
which is Western Province and Nyanza Province, you will be losing three votes from Mount Kenya. But you look at previous election, Raila has been getting votes without Mount Kenya. Arguably, if things were fair in IEBC, yes, he would yeah, have been president. Yes, yes. Can Ruto actually take this route and say, ignore Mount Kenya, let me try the Raila way? There is something else. I don't know how to put it, but it has been put well. I've read it about third world countries, and it is a question of transition of power. That's why how come Raila didn't become president in 2007? We all know he won. That's how come games were played in 2013. That's how come even the Supreme Court agreed with Raila, Ruto had not, Raila Uhuru had not won. That's how come we saw all the shenanigans of 2022. All the shenanigans. Mm. Yeah, all played out including the Supreme Court. Mm. There is a question of transition of power. It's not just that elections were free and fair and the people voted free, mm. freely, expressing their will. It's not enough to win the votes. There is that final tip for power to move from one to the other. That's where the challenge has always been and that's, how you must, that's where you must put Mount Kenya also. They play a big part in that final transition. Eh, that final tip. And fairness. That final tip. Eh. Not just by their numbers, numerical numbers in terms of demographies, yeah. in terms of the votes they carry, mm. but in terms of the influence they have in this country. And the people like Moi knew. I've heard a lot of nonsense about Moi persecuting, finishing Kikuyu business. There is nothing further from the, the truth. Moi knew you cannot ignore Kikuyus and rule this country. Jaramogi said as much. Mm. I don't know why people don't pay attention to what Jaramogi said. Mm. And what was his mind. Mm. He knew it would be very difficult for another community to, to get power in 1963. Mm. It would be a very big challenge. It needed to be somebody from Mount Kenya. And since then, I'm not saying they must be president. Mm. But I'm simply saying, let Ruto be the first president to ignore Mount Kenya. But you, Let's see how it take, where it takes him. You're, you're giving examples from times when Mount Kenya was a block, unified yes, under one yes, kingpin. Yes, yes. Now you look at Mata Karua Kioni on this yeah. side. Now you see Gashago up Mount, on this other side. Ma Maybe Ruto the, sees, I can peter through them. It is very difficult. It's very difficult. It is extremely difficult. So, even, nine, even 2002, I've written a book it has taken for ages. I have never believed that Moi was defeated. These were just Moi, Moi games, all of them. Matiba, Ibaki, all Uhuru Kenyatta. It, they were just games by Moi. Hmm. So the Kikuyus, the Mount Kenya people are, are one and they are a block. Hmm. Even if you didn't see that in, in the last speech. election, Uhuru created a state of paralysis in the community. Initially, they ignored Uhuru Kenyatta. But as we were moving closer to election, they began to see what Uhuru was saying. But they had yet to cross over fully. Elections got them there. That explains why that turnout that was eventually announced was a wrong turnout. Mm. Many people believe there was no voting that went on in Mount Kenya. Mm. Anybody can do to me what they want to do to me. Because that's, <laughs> yeah. So you're saying 2027, Mount yes. Kenya. If they will be, I want to repeat, I've said, let them continue harassing Gashagwa. Mm. They will pay for it. Because Mount Kenya will be, the, will be one. Mm. Nobody's going to divide the mountain. Nobody has ever done it. The mountain will always remain one. So what do you think? There are two, com three communities. There used to be two communities. Now there are three. The Kalenjin community will always remain united. The Luo will always remain united. The Mount Pe Kenya people will always remain united. It is this other community that gets scattered here and there. Mm. You know, if we move to 2027, you will see the power of the Mount Kenya vote. It will decide who becomes president. Mm. Who unto William Ruto? If he continues to antagonize Mount Kenya, getting excited about Nyanza. Mm. This is my free advice. So can you, can you ask yeah, I would refuse to invite him even for tea at State House. Just tea. Eh. As a lawyer man. I've just asked them, invite me for tea. 
chai tu hata sitaki kazi sitaki pesa ni iseme tu nimekunywa kwa chai hmm. nimefanya nini nimekunywa kwa nimekunywa kwa chai sita tao hiyo <laughs> tu na mimi na advice for free yeah unless there's a game between they are playing if the truth is that they are antagonizing Gashagwa hmm. and by extension Mount Ken they will pay for it there's some who believe that Ruto is using Rail and probably wouldn't want him in AU uh, he just wants his votes do you think this could be the case there are many people who are doubting the seriousness of Ruto in this AU, AU thing yeah. many people you know me i talk to kenyans there are very few kenyans who get talked to by people expressing their inner feelings some of them crying so people have been talking to me using many ways si umze anachezwa there are people from nyanza they are so apprehensive umze anachezwa tena na ruto bila anachezwa na ruto people are really apprehensive could this be the case the people think so and you see winning this this au seat may not be as easy as that. I've been going off and on. I say it's winning, I say it's not. Yeah. You know every passing day new things are happening. I just hope Raila wins this thing. Mm. Because if he doesn't win it, some people will get very annoyed. Very hurt also. Mm. You know the right, the problem with Raila and one of these days I want to meet him at him Raila. Do you know you carry people's feelings? Now people are excited. You saw the way excited. Yes. They love Ruto. And they know Ruto is part of the team to make Raila AU. Then it happens that he's not good. You know how many people are going to be hurt? Mm. Raila should stop carrying people in the direction of hurt. Mm. So many people will be hurt. Are we looking? Are we campaigning? You know, when you look at the reception of Ruto in Homa Bay yes. and Badi there, Gori and everywhere. Yeah, and and today I think is yeah somewhere today. Are we campaigning? Is, yeah, that, is, is that of what course, we are doing in course. 2024? Actually? Of course, of course. People are campaigning. Yeah. People are campaigning because it's not going to be easy. Ruto knows it's not going to be easy. This Gen Z thing, you can't wish it away. They only need to identify an individual, one who resonates with them. One individual is game over. It will be inconsequential what Raila and Ruto are doing. Mm. Yeah. So Ruto knows. The things are bad. He thinks are bad. He knows he's not a fool. He knows things are bad. Yeah. The, the game has changed. The game was being played here. The Gen Zs have taken it up there. Mm. You have to jump to get the ball. The ball is up there. They have tossed it up there. Mm. You have to jump. As as we are campaigning, <laughs> I guess, yeah. what is the best way to campaign because you're saying don't ignore Gashagwa? Are you also saying do it as you did in 2022? Ruto Gashagwa Mount Kenya. Is that what you, you see? Saying? What I'm trying to tell the president is this. Don't open many war fronts unnecessarily. Make peace with Uhuru Kenyatta. So there's no war there. You may isha. Make peace with Gashagwa. There's no war there. You may kwisha. Because other things are coming. This Gen Z thing, if you think it has died, you are, you are a fool. It's coming. Uh, it will be revived at a time you can't change anything. If if it if 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 the momentum is there by 2026 going into 2027, few people will even run for office. They will know it's a waste of time. Mm. Yeah. There are people who know they are going to waste their money. But what is the right way for Gen Zs? Even for governor and for MP and whatever. it's going to be big. It's yeah. going to have and there's going to be a narrative. Mm. There's going to be a big narrative about the new Kenya people want. Mm. And this narrative will be pushed by the Gen Zs. And it will sell well with Kenyans. Mm. And I'm telling you many people will abandon their campaigns. You know the big thing about Gen Z is that there's no structure per se. That's so what how, serves them well. So how will you vote for someone when there's no structure? Is a wave Waves don't need the structures. People are crying for structures so that they can know who is leading Gen Z so that they may buy them. They will not get yeah. them. No. I'll advise Gen Z if anybody says is your leader, tell him off. Remain formless, leaderless. Mm. That way you love what you want. The moment you identify a leader and a dengoliwa, cut. Ana kwa abducted. Ana fanya hilo mambo mengine. Ama ananunuliwa. Mambo ni ma matatu. So now fast forward we are looking at Ruto coming back after his reception at uh, at at, Nya at Nyanza region 
What do you think should be his move once he's back in? If I were Ruto, and I've said it so many times, I don't know why they don't call me for tea. If I were Ruto, just do nothing. Just do the right thing. Mm. Mm. Chapakazi. Chapakazi. Don't move around the country wasting time and money. Don't. Just do what you are supposed to. Don't launch anything. Now people are laughing at you. People are launching all manner of things. Yeah. Mocking him. Don't do that. Just do your work. Mm. In fact, Ruto has no problem. I have never seen. I don't know why he thinks he has a problem. The only problem with for Ruto would be Gen Z. And the, pro the Gen Z are a problem to Ruto because he's not doing what he's supposed to do. Mm. Just I've told Ruto, shake up your government. Look around and get men and women who can run the government for you. Let them run. Give them free hand. Mm -hmm. Let them do the right. You enjoy. Take holiday. I've said that once in a while. Go away for three weeks because things are moving. Mm. Remove all these busybodies from State House. Look at these media people, communication. Does he have a communication team? Futayote. I'm a Patia Kazingine. Some buzz out from the end of the GG, you find a Kaza ministry, Zingine, agriculture, extension workers, Gini. You know, we took a mazo. Lakini, Tafta Watu, a media, Fanya Kaziako Mzuri, communication team. Get good advisors. Get serious cabinet secretaries. Get good principal secretaries. And just enjoy the show. Mm, but it seems we like campaigning more. That's our problem. We like it, eh? Yeah. I think it's also exciting. <laughs> uh, let me not blame them. Yeah. I think it's to be on the rooftop of our car. Yeah. Even as Morara, I need to Mor 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 Morara. Morara yeah. and our, they can't even see it. If I were them, I would not go on the roof. Work. After Morara has done that, <laughs> yeah. I miss you as you Thanks for tuning into that conversation. This is New Ruto in Nyanza. What do you think he's trying to do? Do you think it will achieve some benefits for him? Until we do talk again, have yourself a lovely rest of your day.